Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then hi, my name is Maddie and I am super excited for today's video. I am trying something that I've never done before. I'm sure that you already saw, but I'm going to be trying to read 100 pages every day for the next week. I've seen so many people do these videos and I feel like the 200 pages a day is way more common just because it's like, more of an actual challenge. But for someone like me who is a slow reader and works a full-time job, I just know that doing 200 pages a day would be setting myself up for failure. Like there is no possible way that I could do that. Honestly, I think that hitting the 100 page mark every day is going to be enough of a challenge itself, but it's realistic. So hopefully I can actually accomplish this. And it's honestly perfect timing for me to do this because I'm halfway through a book right now and then I have got to read Mockingjay and The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, which is the Hunger Games prequel book, all within the next eight to nine days before the movie comes out. All of that is more than 800, 900 pages, so hopefully most of the days I get a good chunk more than 100 pages, but we'll just see how it goes. It's 8 p.m. on Wednesday right now, so I'll end this on Tuesday night. I'm excited. I think that this is gonna go well, and the book that I'm reading right now is exciting, and I wanted to incorporate it into some sort of reading vlog, so I'm glad that this is happening. And that book is Fourth Wing. I am finally reading it, and I am loving it. I am on page 220, so I'm a little less than halfway through, I think, and I'm, I'm finally getting the hype. I think I've been reading it for three days, and it started off kind of slow for me. I've been updating on Goodreads, and at first I was like, hmm, I don't know. Literally this morning, I wrote an update where I was like, why are there so many words on the page? Because truthfully, I feel like the font is like not the smallest I've ever seen, but the font is kind of small, and there's a lot of words on the page, and there's like 500 pages. So I was getting scared. I was reading this pretty slow, and I was like, at this rate, I don't know when I'm gonna finish. And then I took this book with me to work and I read, I think, 70 pages during lunch, which is insane. I finally got to The Dragons and oh my gosh, y'all didn't tell me that these dragons are funny. I've heard people say like, oh, it feels like they actually have personalities. I love the dragons. Like, excuse me? I'm pretty sure they do have personalities and I'm in love with them. Tarn, I'm sure I said that wrong, but I think that's how the girl who teaches everyone how to say it properly in Scottish Gaelic. I think that's how she said it, is Tarn. I'm in love with him. Literally, I wish that you could see me at work. I wish I could have just like pulled out my camera. I should have, I should have pulled out my phone and recorded myself. I was giggling, giggling, trying to stop myself from laughing out loud in my little cubicle at work while I was eating my lunch. Today has been a really good day for this book. I did a 180. I am in love with this now, and I think that I will be finishing it very quickly. It's hard to see on the black sprayed edges, but I'm actually tabbing this. And this is the first book, honestly, that I've really tabbed, and it's been fun. I have a tab for just like general plot stuff, one for romance, and then one for dragons. My red tab is for dragons, and it's literally all red, and I love it. I get the hype now, and I really hope that this momentum carries on through the rest of the book, and maybe I get some good reactions while I'm reading it. I did also mark the book with these larger tabs, that tell me where I started for the day and then where I have to end. So today I started on page 130, so I have to get to page 230. So I think I have, let's see. Oh, I only have 10 pages left and then I'm gonna hit my minimum that I need to read for the day. I'm gonna read way more than that. Anyways, I'm rambling and I just realized that I'm assuming that everyone knows what this book is. I'm sure you do. Like there's no way that you don't. But just assuming that there's maybe one person out there who does not know about this book. It's basically Divergent, but with dragons. And it is one of the most hyped up books I've ever seen in my whole life. And I was really scared to start it because I was afraid of being let down because of all the hype. And at first I was feeling those vibes, but I am now thinking that the girlies were right. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna shut up because I really wanna go back to reading. So I'll talk to you when I have an update. plans of stopping anytime soon. I look like a librarian. Now I look like I'm naked. <laughs> Better. You know what? They're just gonna have to bury me in this hoodie because I don't think I will ever take it off. Anyways, I just got home from work a little bit ago and I have an update on my book 
And I also went to Target on my way home, so I, of course, am going to give you a haul. It's not a lot and nothing super exciting, but I did finally get myself a planner. I've been wanting one for a long time. And then this is dumb, and I'm probably going to regret buying these because I just know that they are not going to work. But I've decided that tonight I'm going to try Greta Wilson, I think, her wavy hair care routine. <laughs> so I bought the, like, three products that everyone uses for that or that she recommends. I don't really know. But they're all curly hair products. And, like, I do not have curly hair. My hair is literally disgusting right now. I cannot believe that I went to work looking like this, but I had to do what I had to do. So it's honestly the perfect day to try this out because I've got to wash it and I don't go into the office tomorrow. So if it looks like crap, then no one will see it. I feel like over the past few years, my hair has just gotten less straight, especially if I go to bed with damp or wet hair and I always shower at night. So if I don't blow dry it, then it's like super wavy and weird at the bottom, but not in a cute way. And I've gotten so lazy recently that I just do not want to blow out my hair every time that I wash it. So I'm just going to give this a go. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Back to what you're here for, which is the reading challenge. Yesterday, I started on page 133 and I ended on 284, which gives me 151 pages that I read. I read again at lunch today and I only got a little bit done. I think it's 25 pages or so. I genuinely do not know how I read 70 pages at work yesterday. Like, how is that possible? I'm glad it happened, but like, I don't know how. So I'm currently on page 310 and I need to make it to 384. So 72, 73 pages left to read tonight which is kind of daunting actually. It's still really early, so I should have no problem doing that, but I also have to edit and I'm afraid that I'm gonna fall asleep like I did last night. So we'll just see, I better make it. absolutely annihilating this book and I think I only have 50 or 60 pages left I did not see this coming I blew past my 100 pages that was back on 384 and I'm on 430 right now I get it now okay I get what the girlies were saying this is like crack and it's going to be a five star, it has to be. I already said, but the first like 100 pages or so were okay. They weren't bad at all, but they were like so-so. After that, straight up crack. I am still loving the dragons. Tarn, if that's how you say it, is probably my favorite character. Absolutely love him, he makes me laugh every single time. I just don't wanna stop. And normally if I sat down for this long reading, I would have fallen asleep by now. What time is it? It's 8.30, so I will 100% be finishing this tonight. I'm gonna record myself reading the last like, 20 pages probably because everyone talks about the plot twist at the end of this book being really good so I would love to catch my reaction on camera. I love him! Aww. Yay! <laughs> I hate this even when I'm liking it. I think I know. Turning my head to look at the camera, I saw something. Ignoring that painful piece of information that I just spoiled for myself. I think I have an idea of what could be the big plot twist at the end. Except it doesn't feel like it'd be that big. But I have an idea of a potential plot twist. My battery's about to die. Oh, I'm so stressed. I think I have like 10 pages left. I'm so scared. What is gonna happen? <laughs> no way. Oh, this is fun. I'm on the last page. I just have to cover the bottom so that I don't spoil something. <sighs> something big has to happen, unless all the girlies lied. So, oh my gosh. I'm scared. I knew it. I knew it. When I said I have a sneaky little suspicion about what happens at the end, but I didn't think it would be a big enough cliffhanger, uh, I guessed it. So it's kind of disappointing that I didn't get the shock that everybody else did because I guessed it, but I'm a fan. <laughs> That was fun. That was probably the most pages I've read in one day in a while. 
let's see what we got. So I started on page 284 and there are 498 pages. So what is that? Whoa, I read 214 pages today. And I think I already mentioned, but I think that these pages have a lot of words on them, in my personal opinion. Like not the most I've ever seen before, but definitely more than normal. So it took me longer to read each page than like a normal standard book, I feel like. I am glad that I finished it. I feel like reading the whole second half today was a good move. It was fun. And the ending doesn't give me that like, oh my gosh, I have to read the next one. Like I have to read Iron Flame right now, which is good. I was really hoping that it wasn't gonna be like that intense of an ending because like I said, I have to read Mockingjay and The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. So I don't really have time to start that behemoth of a book. I think I'm gonna have to sit on it. It is definitely either gonna be a 4.5 or a five star. It's really late and this is honestly all that I've thought about all day. So I'm gonna get ready for bed and I will hopefully update you on my final thoughts tomorrow once I've had a little more time to process. Hi, obviously it's the next day and I just took a shower if you couldn't tell. I am finally going to try this stuff on my hair and I really have low, low expectations. I don't think this is gonna go well at all, but I'm gonna try it. And while I do it, I thought that I could give you my kind of final thoughts on fourth wing now that I've had like 12 hours to let it simmer. I obviously really enjoyed it. I am currently stuck between 4.5 stars and five stars. How do you do this? I cannot be doing this correctly. The romance did not disappoint. I was enjoying it. But like definitely, without a doubt, my favorite part of this book was the dragons. I am so glad that she made them characters that like actually talk and have personalities because I feel like it just made the book, it just made the book. Tarn was easily my favorite character. Oh, this feels so wrong. I never put mousse of any kind in my hair. I actually saw a TikTok where somebody was listening to, I think it was the audiobook, and it was like their first impression of hearing Tarn's voice. And it was not at all what I was picturing in my head. And I like what I was picturing better. In the audiobook that she was listening to, he was like super low, growly, like angry sounding kind of like character. Like he sounded really badass and cool. But in my head, he still had like a really deep voice and was like cool sounding. But he was totally like sarcastic and kind of not really goofy, but just like, it was like he was over it. And he was just like so sarcastic with everything she said and I loved it. Seriously, unless it was like a super serious moment, if Tarn was talking, he was making me laugh. Every single part. I'm afraid that people are going to watch this and say I'm like doing the worst possible job at this. I really liked all of the characters. I feel like the only thing that I was kind of disappointed with was the like plot twist elements. And it's not like I'm upset with Rebecca Yaros or like I think she didn't do good plot twists. I'm kind of just annoyed with the fact that everybody hypes up plot twists for books like this when they get really big. Like everyone was like, OMG, she left us on the biggest plot twist. I need Iron Flame right now. And I feel like the plot twists weren't that great. Like they were just a little predictable. Like I guessed all of the major plot points. But I don't know if I would have done that if I hadn't heard everybody hype up the plot twist saying like, OMG, OMG, it's so great because I was overanalyzing everything. Like seriously, the entire time I was reading, I was like, OMG, this could be the plot twist. Oh, I see what they're doing here. This is gonna have something to do with the plot twist. So I wasn't just like reading it just to read it. Like normally I'm not the kind of person that is obsessing over trying to figure out what happens at the end. Even with like a thriller, I just like to enjoy the ride and I hope that I'm surprised. So I was hoping that the ending was really gonna shock me and I was gonna be like, oh my God. But I predicted it because everybody talked about it. So I was just trying so hard to figure out what it was. I still liked the plot twists. Like I liked the direction that she took it in. I enjoyed it. I just guessed it all and that like, took away the fun. So yeah, I enjoyed it. I'm glad that I finally read it and so relieved that I liked it. I was honestly scared that I wasn't going to like it as much as everybody else, but I get it. I get the hype now. So I'm glad that I read it and I will probably be reading Iron Flame sometime before the end of the year. You probably can't see my hair at all because of this sweatshirt, but it's not looking too promising. <laughs> it does look bad, but I just know that it's not going to stay like this. Don't laugh at me when I come back and look really stupid. It is 7.30, so it's now a lot later than the last time I talked to you. And I know you're all here for the hair update. I'm sorry to disappoint. Obviously, my hair is up. It just didn't look good. I don't even know what it looks like right now. Oh, it looks like a disaster. This is actually so tragic. I feel like this is close to what my hair 
looks like if I just let it air dry. Except now it's like wet and like hard and greasy looking, especially up at the top. And then the ends are really dry. Probably not any more dry than normal. It looked somewhat cute right when it first started to dry, but even then it was really just like ramen noodle head. Hair stuff aside, because nobody actually cares about that. I am so excited to put fourth wing on the other side of my TBR cart where I put my completed books for the month. It can go over here now with If We Were Villains and time to pick out my next book. If you've made it this far, then you obviously know what book I'm gonna pick next, which is Mockingjay by Suzanne Collins, the third and final book in the Hunger Games trilogy. I'm sure I said it earlier, but the first two were really fun and really quick. So I think this one is gonna be just as good, but I haven't read anything today yet. So I have got to read at least 100 pages, which shouldn't be hard because this is young adult and there's not a whole lot of words on these pages. <laughs> It's now Saturday and I have a not so great update. As you saw, I started Mockingjay last night and I think I only got 17 or 18 pages in before I fell asleep at 8.30. I wasn't tired at all, but I fell asleep at 8.30 and I didn't wake up until after midnight. And I was like, what? This is just how I am. And it's so frustrating, but if it's past seven or eight o'clock at night and I sit down, I usually will fall asleep unless I'm like talking to people. Even if I'm reading a book that I really love or watching a movie that I really love, I will fall asleep. It's so annoying. Okay, I was actually wrong. I got to page 29 before I fell asleep. Still not good. I definitely failed yesterday. But since I got over 200 pages done the day before, I feel like it's like, it kind of balances out. Not really because the challenge is 100 pages each day, but it is what it is. I started on page 29 this morning and I'm on page 58 now. So that's, is that another 29 pages? Yep, that's 29 pages again that I've read so far today. It's a little after four in the afternoon today. So I still have plenty of time to read and I actually am planning on going to Barnes. I've had kind of a weird day. I've been doing some laundry, baking some stuff, doing a puzzle. I haven't felt very productive and I haven't felt the want to really sit down and read a lot. Going to Barnes will put me in the mood to want to read and I'll stay there until I get at least my 100 pages done. I also want to see if they have any more of the holiday special edition fourth wing books, which they probably won't. But someone told me that there's extra chapters from Zayden's point of view at the end of that one. So I wouldn't mind just reading those couple chapters while I'm there. But we'll see. I would assume that it's all sold out, but you never know. done a very bad job of filming so far this week. I think the last thing I filmed was this morning. I read a little bit in bed. So it is the same day. Today is Sunday, but I have only read 11 pages so far. My friend Mick was in town and I've talked about her a lot, but if you don't know who she is, Mick is the best and she started a booktube channel at like the same time as me. So I will link her in the description. Me, Mick and Kat used to be roommates for three years in college. And when we graduated, Mick moved to LA and Kat and I are still roommates it's like three years later. So I don't get to see Mick very often, but she was in town for a wedding and we got to see her just today for a few hours. So we've just been hanging out with her. I obviously haven't read, but we dropped her off at the airport a couple of hours ago and I've just been scrolling through my phone since we got home and not reading like I should have. It's now 9.30 and I have 89 pages left that I have to read tonight to meet the 100 pages. Oh, I don't think I gave you an update on yesterday. I think I told you that I went to Barnes to read because I was feeling like not super motivated. So I went there and didn't let myself leave until I hit my 100 pages. I started on page 29 of Mockingjay, ended on page 140, and then I also read 16 pages from Fourth Wing because when I got there, they did have the holiday special edition, which just has two chapters at the end from Zayden's point of view. Honestly, not super worth it in my opinion, but it was fun to still read. So yesterday I read 127 pages. Like I said, so far I've only read 11 pages today, so I have 89 left to go. I'm currently on page 151, which is 40% through of Mockingjay. 
So I honestly need to pick up the pace if I'm gonna finish this and The Ballad of Songbird and Snakes before the movie comes out on Thursday night. I'm a little nervous that I might not hit the 100 pages tonight just because it's already 9.30 and I fell asleep at 8.30 a couple nights ago reading. So I might have to like set a couple of alarms and stuff to make sure that I don't fall asleep. So I'm gonna go put on some comfy PJs and hopefully read more than just 89 pages before I fall asleep, but we'll see. I have a confession. I failed last night. I genuinely do not know what happened last night. We both saw. I was on my chair, I started reading, and I set a timer for 20 minutes in case I fell asleep. I remember waking up at that 20 minute timer, but I had just fallen asleep right before then, or I was starting to fall asleep. So I set another 20 minute timer. And I remember going through that phase a couple of times, but at some point, I think around midnight, I look at my Kindle, I'm like, oh my gosh, I read 100 pages, fantastic. I get out of the chair, start getting ready for bed, and then I open up my Kindle again just to see if I can do a couple more pages before I fall asleep. And I had barely read anything. I think I had read 10 pages, 10 pages. Seriously, like when I start falling asleep, my brain gets delirious. So I panicked and I stayed up in bed as long as I could until I just could not stay awake any longer. And I managed to get 41 pages in yesterday, which is two days this week that I have already failed. But you know what? That's okay. Hopefully this is relatable for some people. Maybe I'm not the only one that falls asleep when trying to read. Now that I've made excuses for myself, I started on page 181 and I am now on page 202. So that's 21 pages. I read a little bit during my lunch break, but I've been trying to mostly edit and upload a video, but that video is uploading now and I'm going to take the next hour and a half, two hours, however long it takes to just sit here and read. And I'm hoping that being here on the couch instead of in my room will help. I tend to stay awake a little bit longer out here, but I still fall asleep a lot. So we'll have to see. So the last time I updated you, I think it was to tell you that I was a failure and I did not read 100 pages on, on Sunday. But I am proud to announce that I did meet my reading goal for yesterday. Yesterday I started on page 181 and ended on 332, which is 151 pages. So even though I have had two days that I failed so far and those were pretty low page count days, I feel like I have made up for it on the days that I've read over 100. So then today I started on page 332 and I finished the book and it is, oh, well, that's it, 390 pages. So I have read 58 pages so far. I thought I read more than that. I have to say, I think that this is my least favorite book in the series by far. It is just very depressing. This whole book, Katniss is just depressed and it seems like everybody else in the book is Nothing is going right. There was enough going on that I was still intrigued in the plot, but I don't know, it just was a little bit slow and really hard to read at times. It was just so dark. I could not picture a middle schooler reading this book. And honestly, I was underwhelmed by the ending. I didn't remember anything that happened in this book from when I read it however long ago, but that is not how I remember this series wrapping up at all. And I feel like if other people who read this with me when we were like in middle school, I feel like if they reread this, they would have been like, huh, not how I remembered it. But that might just be me. I also have the worst memory ever. I still gave it four stars, but honestly, if this was like a standalone book or by an author that I didn't have any connection to, I probably would have given it a three. But now that I'm done with that, I am excited that I can finally start the prequel book, which I only have today and tomorrow to read if I want to be able to read it on Thursday. Ooh, and it's not looking good, guys. It is not looking good. How about I just stop talking to the camera and start the book? Let's go. Hi, it's me reporting live from my bed, looking a little bit crazy. A few hours ago, like when I was cooking and eating and stuff, I was reading the book and I only got 42 pages in, but I checked. And like I said, I read 58 pages of Mockingjay today, which means that 42 is the exact amount that I have to read to reach my 100 pages. So technically I have hit 
my 100 pages. At this rate, I obviously am not going to finish this in time for the movie that comes out on Thursday, but you know, it is what it is. I tried. So far, it's interesting. I'm obviously not very far at all, but Snow is an interesting character. I know I didn't get any footage of me reading earlier, so I just wanted to pop in here, give you an update, and I am going to try and read a little bit more before I fall asleep, but I don't think I'm gonna last very long. It is a few days later and I never wrapped up this video or totaled up how many pages I read so that's what we're gonna do right now. So we started out while I was halfway through fourth wing and the first day I read 151 pages and the second day I finished the book and read 214 pages. Then I started Mockingjay and I only read 29 pages on that day so I failed pretty badly. The next day I read 127 pages and then I failed again and read only 41. The next day Monday I read read 151 pages and then on Tuesday I finished this book which was 58 pages and then I started the prequel book The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes which I have that packed away in my backpack so I don't have it with me but I read 50 pages of that so that's 108 pages on my last day. So all of that added up is 821 pages so I did succeed at least in reading 700 pages in seven days. I just didn't do a hundred per day. My biggest issue is that I just cannot stay awake. There are days when I'm just not tired and I can sit down and read a book and being like really into the book can help and I can stay awake for a while. And then there are other days where I could be so into a book, but it does not matter. I'm gonna fall asleep unless I'm like walking around while reading the book. So I'm definitely glad that I tried 100 pages a day instead of 200 because that would have been impossible. And it was a fun little challenge. Maybe I didn't pass, but I did close enough and I read some good books. I did really enjoy Fourth Wing. I think I'm settled on a 4.5 stars. This was fun. The dragons really made it for me. Without them, this would have just been like a meh book, but they were really fun to read about. Mockingjay was actually a little bit weird. This was my least favorite out of the three Hunger Games books. I think I gave this a four as opposed to the other ones were like a 4.5 to five. I honestly do not remember this book being as sad and just hard to read as it was when I read it in middle school. I feel like this is a little bit dark for middle schoolers to be reading, but we all did. And then Ballad, I am probably not even halfway through it yet. I've been reading for a few days since I ended the video and that one's been a little bit slow for me. So maybe I actually haven't had the best books in this reading vlog, but Fourth Wing was definitely a highlight. Okay, I think that is everything that I have for the outro. I'm sorry that I failed and I didn't actually do the 100 pages every day, but I think this will be something fun to try again in the future and we'll see if I can improve. I thought it was fun to do a reading vlog where I got to just kind of mood read what I wanted to, but it still had some sort of theme to it. So it wasn't just like a boring reading vlog. So maybe I will try it again soon if y'all like this one. That is everything for me. As always, thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye.